Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, David M. coming at you here with another video. Gonna move quick today because I have quite a lot to show, so I'm trying to get it in as little time as possible. This is gonna be a little modern haul. It was vintage last time, so this is gonna be modern, um, including one banger for me that I picked up at an unbelievable deal. Can't wait to show that. Uh, but before I do, and I will first of all explain why the no number Vladdy is here and the Tatis rookie is there. Uh, here in just a minute. Before I get into that though, it is Christmas in January. Everybody's good friend and mine, Alex Jay's Mix, sent a Christmas card. And I actually just got it a day or two ago. Um, Alex, thank you so much, man. And inside that Christmas card, it was raining rhinos. 92 rhino specifically that's a really cool one there i did not have that there's the 92 tops rhino beautiful card and slam and sammy from 92 alex thank you so much bud everybody loves alex if you're not subscribed to alex check out jay's mix i'll put the link in the description below uh, thank you again my friend all right now uh to go through this I, there's a card that i've been wanting for a very long time and uh keep watching it and have never pulled the trigger. I'm talking about for a few years now. And finally just got the right deal. Um, and that is this one. And I'm gonna go ahead and apologize for my lighting again in advance. Not gonna be able to see it in all its glory, but the 2010 Bowman Platinum Prospects, Michael Trout. Beautiful card, it really shines and pops. Of course, you can't see that on this camera. It's in a Beckett near min 8.5. I don't see anything wrong with it personally. Um, so what I might do is send this off. Um, Mr. Mangini apparently knows a guy who knows a guy that grades the graders. So at the uh, advice of, of John Mangini, I'll probably send this off and get this uh, checked out and regraded by some jack leg who does it in his mom's basement. All right. Now, I'll move on. I'm kidding, by the way. Um, because I could care less about that grade. It's a beautiful card. It pops. And I got that thing for no joke. I've been having some luck with some auctions. It was about 80 bucks less than what it normally sells for at auction in that particular grade. So I was thrilled with that. Also thrilled to add this to the Derek Jeter run. I'm always looking at Jeter inserts and old stuff like that. A beautiful 97 Pinnacle Totally Certified Platinum Red, number to $39.99. Uh, this one's a really shiny one too, of course not in this lighting, but it's still got the sticker on it. There's the number designation right there, 1722. So, love that addition there. Also added this one, Pinnacle Zenith. I love these 90s Pinnacles, man. And these inserts are sweet. Uh, this one also shines too, and they're, they're cheap to pick up. So, added this bad boy. Um, not a huge card, but I love it. Uh, it is the 2008 Upper Deck Max Scherzer rookie card. Now, this one is the uh, throwback version to the SP. I've got the Clayton Kershaw in this one, too. And it really shines and pops and does all that good stuff. Love these SP rookies in Upper Deck from back then. And also added a guy that gets zero hobby love and is one of the absolute overall best players in the game. And all you fantasy guys, you know what I'm talking about here. Trey Turner, the uh, winner of many a league for a lot of people every year. Um, I think I picked up, this is actually one of my favorite sets, 2016 Bowman's Best, 2015 Bowman's Best is also great with the backgrounds and everything. This is the green Trey Turner rookie. There's the back. And seriously, this thing was $2 shipped. I mean, and I've got a, a couple years ago, picked up a Trey Turner auto rookie numbered to, I don't know, 50 for like less than five bucks. I mean, the guy gets zero hobby love, but hey, I'll tell you all day long. Now, the next thing I wanna show is, I don't do a lot of ripping or any of that stuff, but you know, we did come into some update at work and I basically could get them for free because of you know money that we were given at work, so why not? So I'll just show you some of the stuff that I pulled in a few hangers. Here's my boy, Jonathan India. Um, the reason I like him so much is he was a lookout. You know, got to see him play a good little bit. So really rooting for him. Uh, this is a sweet one. A Cabrian Hayes short print. Pulled this one out of one of those. Really like that one. So it's rarer, which means there's probably only a few million of them as opposed to 20 million of them. 
Nice little Andrew Vaughn, Tops Black Gold, shiny card. Rookie there. Jazz, a little smooth jazz. Chisholm, throwback rookie there. Shout out to Clint, Swingway Sports Cards. Joey Bart, throwback. Actually pulled a couple of those, so Clint, if you want one, you got it. This guy I'm still really big on. Alex Kirilov, his Tops Chrome throwback rookie card. Wish you could see the shine. Yeah, a little bit. Love that one there. Shout out to Greg, Tiger727. Actually pulled three of these. Uh, Akil Badu rookie cards. So Greg, if you want one or two, there you go. My boy Fernando. And that throwback. And uh, we've got here a Juan Soto throwback chrome. And finally, I, I'm only showing this because it's an orange, bubbly, sparkly thing. And it's numbered to 299 But he plays for that team. Shout out to Walter, Placa de Cards. There's this guy. So, Walter, if you want that, you got it. Now, those are the update pulls. So now the pulls I wanna show, I'll tell you a little story with this. A few months ago at work, we got in randomly from MJ Holdings, these things, these mystery boxes. I never go for these kind of things from a store because they're usually garbage, right? I just assumed a Fairfield garbage pack. I didn't buy them. Well, I believe it was Craig B, if I'm not mistaken, that same day that I saw him, and I didn't buy him, put out a video, bought one or two, and like they had actual like tops packs in them. And of course, they had 2019 top series one. That seems to be the theme in all of them, but they also had a 2018 series two. So, you know, a chance to pull a bat down. And they're not expensive, they're like, you know, 10 bucks, whatever. So like, all right, they're actually good packs because they're not from Fairfield. They're from MJ Holdings, so it's all top stuff. Well, so I had one left, I bought it, and sure enough, it had a 2018 Series 2 back in it. Now, I didn't pull anything good, but still, it was neat. So when we got a few more in a couple months later, I bought a few more. Now, they didn't have the 2018 Series 2, but they did have just some random cool packs in them. Um, so like one of them I bought, and this to go... With this little mic shot here, it had 2012 Allen and Ginter. And I happened to pull this. The second year Mike Trout Mini from Allen and Ginter. So a really cool pull there. You know, that's a not that I ever sell them, but I'd check it out. It's like a $45, $50 card raw. So really nice little card there. I love it. Second year trout mini. Now, um, and they had some other neat packs too. I just I don't usually pull anything good. They all have 2019 Series 1, all of them. So for all those fantasy guys out there, there's the Cedric Mullins rookie, which is laughable a couple years ago, but he had a breakout year last year. And that card's still worth nothing. Same thing, Corbin Burns, huge year last year. Um, and then, of course, the MVP's Gold Cup card is in there. So there's those. But we just got some back in, and I bought them. And was shocked to see what was inside. So first of all, of course there's the 2019 series one, but they also had some 2018 series one. So, you know, you can pull the Raphael Devers, wildly underrated in the hobby. Um, Walker Bueller, I believe is in there, if I'm not mistaken. But also too, you know, some 2020 series one. Okay, you can pull Bo, you know, and some others. And you know, really what you want, I'm, I like to pull the golds if possible. I always seem to pull a goal, but it's of no one anybody ever wants. But the big ones, though, and these, and so far, all the ones that I bought have them. They can be busts. I've seen them online where they're busts. 2019 Series 2. So in 2019 Series 2, you could pull the No Number Vladdy, which I pulled this one back in 2019, and the Tatis Rookie, which I pulled back in 2019. There's also Pete Alonzo. Um... Maybe Eloy. I can't remember if Eloy's in Series 2 that year or not, but anyway, I'm pretty sure he is. Anyway, so my goal is I'll probably actually, which I never rip on camera anymore, but I'll probably rip those on camera just in case I'll pull any of the golds. The backup plan is to pull Jack nothing, which is probably what's exactly going to happen. So anyway, stay tuned for that. Thank you again, Alex. Um, Jay's Mix. I hope everyone's doing well. Everyone be safe, take care, and I will catch you next time.